We are learning more about what led up to the murder-suicide involving an Enoch family earlier this month. As Fox 13 News reported last night, the father, Michael Haight, was investigated for child abuse in 2020. Today, Fox 13 News investigative reporter Nate Carlisle compared what police found back then to warnings issued by domestic violence educators now. I think what's most frustrating is that I think if we think about Macy, at this point as a victim of child abuse. She really did everything the system asks of her. And now effectively all she has to show for that is a marble slab over her body with her name on it. Salt Lake City Rabbi Avrami Zippel read how Macy Haight, the oldest daughter of Michael Haight and one of his murder victims, told Enoch police in 2020 that her father would shake her and once choked her. But sadly, History has repeated itself way too many times for us not to realize that people who end up shooting their families usually have these sorts of stories. Some of what's in the Enoch report matches warning signs published by the National Domestic Violence Hotline. It warns abusive behavior includes insulting, demeaning, or shaming you, especially in front of others, preventing you from making your own decisions, preventing or discouraging you from spending time with others, and showing jealousy of time with others. Zippel, who has become an advocate for child abuse victims across Utah, sees in the hates similarities to another domestic violence case with Utah ties. I don't want to be separated. You can have anxiety? Yeah, yeah no where it's Ian, please. You watch that moment where they come upon Gabby Petito and her boyfriend and the amount of information they're trying to process very, very quickly to make that sort of snap judgment. One of the best comments that I saw last night is, if that's what Macy said to the police about what her father was doing to her, how much did she not say? More and more trauma-informed protocols for law enforcement to follow, for them to really understand the intricacies of the situation is going to become our path forward. Michael Haight also murdered his four other children, as well as his wife Tasha and his mother-in-law, Gail Earl. In fact, the hates were my neighbors. The youngest children played in my yard. Zippel sees a problem with our concept of who commits familicide. And I think that we think only monsters would do this sort of thing to their family, not someone who was an Eagle Scout, not someone who was the church going kind of guy. But it's time we understand that really good people can do really, really bad things. And it's on us as a public and as a society to prevent that from happening. Enoch Police issued a statement late Tuesday saying it issued victim services to Tasha Haight and her family for several months. In Salt Lake City, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah.